Tanya, let's dive into the details of SRSD genre knowledge and how explicit instruction and genre devices help achieve these astonishing results. One of the things that the research supports that makes SRSD one of the most effective models is because of how the model holds together. So you have a a specific instructional approach and you have the stages of instruction. So it's not just here's a strategy, but rather we are going to comprehensively and explicitly teach everything that that stands for behind it. So if we're going to teach, you know, pick your idea, we have to teach you how to pick an idea and built into SRSD is how do we do that? What's actually taught in SRSD has much more breadth and developmental perspective. And then the other piece is that you also have genre devices. So what is it that a narrative writer would use to help carry the story? Well, that's different than what they would use in an opinion piece or in, you know, some kind of informational text. And then I think the other thing to think about is, so what is it that a writer would do in a persuasive piece to convince the reader? So something like that is going to be taught. And then there's also transition words are big or um, sequencing words are big in persuasion. So what are some words that we could use that would entice your reader, that would be just irresistible. So there's a vocabulary component. And then just the construction of sentences and paragraphs. Is every sentence gonna be three words in the same order? Well, no, writers try to vary their sentence structure. Well, how do they do that? And why do they do that? And what does that look like in persuasive writing, different from something like expository writing? So there's, there's multiple layers, and, and I think genre knowledge gets defaulted to text structure. Again, it's typically what would be seen in the simple mnemon- the letter mnemonics, but obviously it's a lot more than that. Thanks, Tanya. Linda, sometimes teachers new to SRSD skip steps. We especially see middle and high school teachers skipping the self-instruction and self-talk components. Tell us why fidelity is a priority. What we know from the research, if all components are used, SRSD will be more powerful. It's like any other instructional approach that works. You don't teach division and skip regrouping. I mean, that may be too simplistic. But my experience, the one that they like to skip and often skip is the self-instruction. However, for adolescents, they have such negative self-instructions, those really need to be addressed. High schoolers are a little tougher, you know, to break into. They don't smile as much. But again, when they become successful, it's just so rewarding to see their affect change. Not only do their skills change, but their affect change. And that's so important for adolescent success. Linda, what's the transformation like when you are true to SRSD instruction? Uh, So in seeing them change from writers who hated to write, who did not feel successful, to see them smile at their success is probably the most rewarding thing that I've had in my research. Uh, This actually happened in China. I was training a group of Chinese teachers who were teaching English, so they were teaching writing. And so I said, let's start simple. And when they saw the gains in students writing from just doing that one simple thing, they wanted to learn more. That'll do it for this episode of the SRSD Mentor Series, sponsored by SRSD Online and Writing to Learn. I'm your host, Randy Barth, and until next time, please share, like, and subscribe. And as always, send this link to any friends who want to change students' lives forever.